click reduce raw materials and the amount is going to I'm just gonna say this equals I'm gonna scroll down to that amount that was in our cost of goods manufactured way down here the cost of goods manufactured this number right there all right and then that's gonna be of course the debit and the credit and if we post this out then we're going to go to the finished goods here and that's going to equal this number going up I'm going to double click on raw materials because there's something in it go to the end and that number is going to go down so next we're going to record the amount that was uh recorded for the direct materials so direct materials i mean direct labor i'm sorry direct labor here now normally this would go into work in process and then we'd process it out to finished goods but in this case we're going to say that we completed everything so we're basically saying that all this here, it went through work and process and then it all got completed. So we're just going to basically take it straight to finished goods. This labor is going to go to finished goods. It's going to be part of the inventory. So we're going to say finished goods is going to go up by the labor that was input into it. And we paid that labor. So instead of saying wages expense, we're saying finished goods because that's where the wages are going to. And then uh, cash is going to go down for what we paid our employees. And so that's going to be this here and we're going to say that equals and we're going to scroll over to the labor 420 that's the direct labor going into our inventory in this case going directly to finished goods because we're going to complete all of the inventory so finished goods something's in it i'm going to double click on it go to the end of it say plus increase it by that 420 then we're going to go to cash double click on it go to the end of it and say plus and decrease it by that 420. Okay, so next item, uh, let's go ahead and make that green. I'm going to scroll down here and say, okay, that's been input. And we can scroll down and say, now we have the overhead. And remember, there's two pieces of the overhead. One's the variable uh, portion, and then we got the fixed portion. And the fixed portion is accumulated depreciation. So once again, this overhead's going into the inventory. So we know that all of it's going to go into the finished goods because we don't have any work in process it's all going in the finished goods and then part of it's going to be paid with cash and the other part of it is going to go into the depreciation accumulated depreciation so instead of expensing it we're not expensing it we're capitalizing it in the form of the asset and we're, i'm going to say the cash is going to be a negative of i'm going to scroll down to the factory over